Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith. Here on my channel, I like to focus on all things Curly Girl Method. If that's something you're interested in and you'd like to see me share more about products and techniques that I learn, please subscribe. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to protect and preserve your curls and waves through the night. I am not the best about protecting my hair. I have started doing one very simple, easy addition to my sleeping routine that has helped, but I could be doing more. I'll tell you what it is shortly. First, let's talk about why you might need or want to preserve and protect your hair throughout the night. So you want to both protect your hair from being messy and frizzy and from being damaged. And when you're laying down on your pillowcase and you're tossing and turning and your hair is rubbing up against your pillowcase, it roughs up your hair and can cause frizz and breakage and friction and other types of physical damage. I have a looser curl pattern. This is day two hair, end of day two already. And as the days go on from wash day, my pattern starts to fall. My hair doesn't get bigger, it gets flatter, but it still gets frizzy. So these are some ways to minimize the frizz and minimize the damage while you sleep with your curls at night. The first way we'll talk about is a pineapple. What is a pineapple when it comes to hair? What does a pineapple have to do with hair? If you haven't heard this term already, it's a very popular term for a high ponytail, basically. So to do a pineapple, you want to gather your hair gently up at the top of your head, as close to your forehead as you can get it. And then you want to gently wrap it with a scrunchie in a nice loose ponytail. The reason for doing this is that it leaves all your front waves and curls unstretched, untouched. Sometimes it will stretch out those back curls, but those are usually covered. So this is a way to keep those surface curls intact and looking nice and not smushed. A way to add extra protection if you choose to do a pineapple would be to either sleep on a silk or satin pillowcase or the trick I'm gonna mention in a minute while you're wearing your pineapple. So you are just going to fold your scarf and wrap it around the back of your head tie it in the front, but this helps protect those back curls from rubbing against the pillowcase and getting roughed up and frizzy. Another way you can use your silk scarf is to just wrap your hair in that without the scrunchie and the pineapple. So you'll take your silk scarf or satin scarf, mine is satin, I don't have any real silk. So you're gonna fold your scarf, lay it down on a flat surface, and then lower your hair onto it as if you were plopping. And then you wanna secure the scarf the best that you can so that it stays on your head all through the night. The next option, which is what I do, is lay the scarf over your pillow. If you can't afford to get a satin pillowcase or silk pillowcase right now, or you have a bunch of scarves already, or you just don't wanna to have to deal with another thing, this is a great start. I've been doing this for a few weeks now and it has helped a lot with frizz. So I just lay that scarf on top of my pillow, kind of tuck in the top and bottom so it doesn't move around too much. And then I just drape my hair up over that scarf and sleep with it like that. Loose, not wrapped up, not in a ponytail, pineapple, whatever you want to call it. I've never really liked sleeping with my hair tied up in any way. I like it free and this is a way for me to help protect my hair without really compromising the way that's comfortable for me to sleep. Another thing you can do is get a satin bonnet. It's sort of like a shower cap. This one that I have is just a cheap one that my mom picked up for me. This method will probably work really well for you if you have a really tight curl pattern or you have a lot of thick hair, do this as if you were wet plopping. Just plop your hair right into that silk or satin bonnet. Make sure all the ends are tucked in and you're ready to go to sleep. <sighs> Apparently I'm not very good at this one since my hair has gotten longer either. <laughs> so you get the idea. So this is not my go-to. 
And like I said, I don't really like sleeping with things on my hair. But this is another option that might work for you. Another way that you can protect your hair at night is something called Medusa clipping. Now, I have not personally done this. It's supposed to be best for short hair. I will link the video that I have seen for this. And if you have shorter hair, I think you should check it out and maybe give this a try. I am not trying this because I've never tried it before. I don't have any experience with it. I don't think that any of us need to be an expert in all things. But to give a quick explanation of what it is, you take Medusa clips or claw clips, sort of like this one or smaller, and you wanna get a handful of them. You wanna have a few. And you're basically going to gather your hair up in almost like little ponytails, kind of. And you just wanna do that all over your hair so that your roots are clipped up and all your curls are loose around it, if that makes sense. If you're interested in that method, I really recommend you check out the video that I have in the description of someone else who actually uses it. Another method that I'm not going to be able to show you is sleeping in a buff. Not sleeping in the buff, but feel free to do that too if that's your thing. A buff is basically a tube of fabric. If you've ever watched Survivor, that's what they always wore on Survivor. They'd wear them around their hair, they'd wear them as tube tops, they'd wear them as bracelets around their neck, all sorts of different ways. My parents loved Survivor. I watched it a lot when I was growing up. So that's just a good way for me to relate it to you if that's a show you've seen. It's essentially a really, really long headband, tube-like piece of fabric, like I said, that you would put around your head, have around your neck, like you start off with a headband, and then you pull it all the way up. You'd probably do this upside down. You pull it all the way down, up, whatever you wanna say, so that your hair kind of goes in it like a Marge Simpson moment and you can kind of tuck in the top and tie it up or loop it or clip it down here in the front. I don't have one of these. I've been thinking about trying to get one, but like I said, I haven't loved sleeping with things on my head in the past, so I'm not pulling the trigger on that just yet. And the last one I wanna mention might not be the most friendly for actually preserving your hair overnight, but I still wanna mention it in case there's any straighter haired people watching or anyone who just wants something quick and easy that will help their hair not get tangled and frizzy at night. And that is a braid. I can't really do a braid right now because I have a lot of layers and they kind of just fall out at different sections of the braid. For if you have straighter hair or you're not really concerned about your specific wave or curl pattern lasting to the next day or for kids so that their hair doesn't get all tangled up while they're sleeping. I'm sure there are lots and lots more methods for protecting your hair at night, but these are some of the main ones I've seen and some of the ones that I've tried. So I just wanted to share several of them with you so that you can test them out and pick out the one that's gonna work for you and your lifestyle and your hair. Like I mentioned, my favorite way is just with the satin scarf over my pillowcase and draping my hair up on top of it and sleeping like that. The way I've always slept, except with a satin scarf over my pillowcase. I don't move around a lot in my sleep. Just wanted to mention that. I do have to get up a few times throughout the night, but once I'm actually asleep, I am asleep. I am staying asleep, I'm not moving around, I'm tired, I'm staying in that position. This is how my hair looks, end of day two. It's a tiny bit frizzy. It's a little bit looser already. It's getting stretched out. Some pieces are a little wonky from wash day. I'm still learning. I'm still practicing. Now I am going to sleep like I always sleep or like I've been sleeping for the past few weeks rather. Just with my scarf over my pillowcase and my hair draped up over it. And I am going to show you what it looks like 
tomorrow. So this is day three, unrefreshed. I haven't done anything to it since wash day. This is how it held up. So you can kind of get an idea of how this helps protect my hair and how it might work for you if you decide to give it a try. Comment below and tell me which method you like for protecting and preserving your curls at night. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. It helps tremendously. Share this video with a friend if you think that they've been needing this information or you think it would be helpful to them. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any of my videos. I upload a new one every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.